The Quick Selection tool is a lot like the Magnetic Lasso, but rather than outlining an area, you just paint within it. I'm going to try and select the leaf the butterfly is sitting on with the Quick Selection brush. I'll start by painting on the leaf right up to the edge. You can see the selection area expanding as I paint. This is pretty good, but there are a couple spots that I need to correct. So I'll reduce the size of the brush to work with these details by using the left bracket key. I can hold down Option to subtract, subtract from the selection while I paint. Hold down Shift to add to the selection. Now copy and paste and the leaf will go onto its own layer. The selection brush simply lets you create a selection by painting. I'll select this from the tool options bar and just start painting. Rather than laying down a color though, a selection is applied to the exact area painted over. This can be really good for touching up detailed selections that were done initially with a different tool. The Magic Wand tool selects areas of similar color with a single click. If I take the magic wand and click on the solid blue area here, all that blue will be selected. If I click on the green background in the photo, a certain amount of the greens will be selected. In tool options, I can change the tolerance. Dial it down and a narrower band of color will be selected. When the tolerance is increased, the target range of color grows. I'll set the tolerance to 30 now and try to select the orange areas in this butterfly's wings. I can click once to get the first selection and then hold the shift key to add the others. To do this faster though, I could uncheck contiguous in the tool options. This will select all the oranges nearby, creating multiple selections. I still need to hold down the shift key and click in some unselected areas to get the full range of orange. But with contiguous unchecked, the process is faster. With the orange area selected, I'll probably need to refine the selection before attempting any adjustments. So I'll click Refine Edge, and then feather it a little, as well as shift the edge out a bit, which will expand the selection. Use the view modes here to get a clearer look at the details of the selection. Now I can put this selection on its own layer and adjust the color.